Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here today. If you're not feeling lucky, trust me, you will be after today. From Lucky 7 Spirits, this is the Lucky 7. This is their 14 year single barrel, barrel proof, straight bourbon whiskey. Um, this is a big boy. So this guy's coming in at 133.4 proof or 66.55% ABV. Mash bill undisclosed on this one. Uh, again, it is age stated as 14 years. Uh, it is a single barrel. You know, this is one of the things that these guys are doing where they're pulling these really special barrels, now releasing them as single barrels, which I'm super excited they have. And you'll see today as we get into this. Again, like I said, if you weren't feeling lucky, you will after this. Um, MSRP on this, again, remember, this is a 14 year, so minimum age stated uh, as 14 years with this. Um, it's coming in at $135 uh, and there's only 2,500 bottles. So in today's day and age, I don't think that's a bad price for a 14 year single barrel Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey at all. People will argue that, I know that, but you know, forget about that. Let's dive into today's uh, review. Color wise, big, rich, mahogany, reddish hue to that. It's a beautiful, beautiful looking bourbon. Uh, move the, the whiskey around in the glass a little bit. Fantastic oils. Don't think this is being chill filtered at all. So we should have everything left in there, hopefully translate over to the palate. So let's dive into the nose. Woo, big, bold, vanilla custard on this bad boy. Little bit of a nutty characteristic to it. Fantastic oak. Uh, there's a sweet oak. Now, one thing I'll say is don't dive too deep into this thing right away. I mean, at over 133 proof, it, it's going to let you know that it's got some proof on it for sure. Yeah, a little bit of maybe, maybe even like a, a smokiness that's there. Again, you know, 14 year single barrel. Naturally speaking, there's going to be an oak influence. So you have to going into that. With this kind of age, you already have to know or appreciate the, the oak that may be on this. So if you're not an oak fan at all, generally speaking, I try to steer people away from the higher age bourbons, especially the barrel proof ones because of the influence of the oak. Man, great dark fruits on that. Nice, like rich, like um, almost like molasses. There's a like a, a chocolate note little bit of a fudgy aspect that's there. Coffee, espresso, a little bit of black pepper on that. Maybe even a touch of like a maple syrup on there as well. Man, there's a lot going on with this thing on the nose. Big and bold and rich. You know, it's one of those things that it smells beefy, uh, you know, to it. I mean, that proof that's there, all of these flavors so far on the nose are absolutely beautiful. Yeah, heavy coffee, heavy like espresso notes. It's very almost like a concentrate of something. Uh, even like a little bit of a like a root beer uh, aspect. So there's a little bit of that, you know, what you smell like in a, in a root beer. Definitely some leather and tobaccos. Man, there's just a lot going on with this. And this is going to be one of those bourbons, I would say, you know, knowing what it is pour this thing, let it sit, let it open up a little bit. Even when you get the bottle, open it up, let it sit, you know, try it of course, right away, let it sit. Some air I think will really do uh, this bourbon some justice. Uh, even a little bit of a uh, interesting, kind of like a, like a buttered cornbread uh, on that as well, but very, but in a, all in a good way, of course. Yeah, definitely as it begins to kind of open up and prior to the review, I've had this probably sitting in the glass for upwards of 15 minutes. So I let it kind of air out a little bit and definitely as even I'm sitting here and kind of nosing through it, more of that oak is coming through. Now the oak that's here is much more of a, a sweeter oak. So, you know, kind of, you know, take that for what it is. All right, more importantly, let's, uh, let's see how this one's going to taste. Cheers. Yeah, that, uh, that proof is there. That'll give you a little pucker, that's for sure. I mean, 133.4 proof. 
that's a uh, that's a big dog right there. So be careful with that one. Take into consideration definitely the proof. Now, you know this again. It, it just trust me. Take your time with it. Let it open up. It'll it'll reward you. But kind of first thoughts are that big rich oak presence that's there. Definitely some of those rich like caramels, maybe even a butterscotch, molasses, coffee, espresso, chocolate, heavy dark fruits. Again, lingering oak that's there, a little bit more um, of the sweeter kind of oak side of things, a little bit drying. Again, you'd expect that from a bourbon that's got, you know, some age to it. This, you know, being specifically 14 years old. Yeah, definitely some barrel char that's there for sure. It's 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 definitely present. So I mean, maybe even kind of tricks you into thinking it's a little bit of a, a smoky aspect. Uh, the proof is definitely there. The proof is helping, I think, with a lot of these overall big, bold flavors. You know, those creamy caramels, definitely molasses, um, that rich coffee espresso. It just lingers on the palate. It's one of those bourbons that you don't have to constantly keep going back to. It just... It, you swallow and then it just kind of it, it sits there for a second and then it's boom it's like exploding back on the palate again and that's one of those things where when you have a really nice or fantastic bourbon that's exactly what you're going to get definitely that concentrated aspect it's just big and bold and rich oaky you know, oaky, probably in a good way. You know, it's a little bit on the sweeter side, which helps. It's not an overly, you know, tannic kind of, of oak. There's definitely the sweetness. So that offsets, I think, a little bit of the, the dryness because some of that, that sweetness remains on the palate. So that's the, I guess, one of the true signs of a really, really nice bourbon is when you have all of these aspects and layers all working really well with each other. You know, I would say in a nutshell, if you've ever been in a Rick house, it tastes like a Rick house smells like a really old, nasty one where you've got all that angel share and all of that. That's kind of what it's translated to over on the palate. Just an incredible, incredible uh, bourbon. Yeah, I guess the longer or as the finish kind of develops. I mean, first of all, I mean, the finish is super long. So you've got all of that. More citrus is starting to come out a little bit. More of those dark fruits. The oak is present for sure on the sweeter side. Um, so take that into consideration, you know, depending on if you're a, an oak person or not. Again, yeah, some of that citrus, really nice rich caramels, butterscotch, molasses, heavy like coffee, espresso notes chocolates it, it's just a great it's just a great bourbon i think for the guys who did through or tasted through some of these barrels and decided to not use this in a blend and treat this for what this was i'm super excited that they've pulled a barrel like this and just released it as an individual single barrel so kudos to the guys at lucky seven spirits uh absolutely fantastic so if you can find this um, I'll try to find a link and put it in the description for areas where maybe you can find this. Um, I've done a little bit of research prior to this and haven't seen that as of maybe the first part of no uh, November 21, uh, whether it's not whether or not it's been released or not yet. So I don't know if this is actually out in the, the marketplace, but I would have to imagine that it's got to be uh, or being released pretty soon. So I'll see what I can find. And if so, I'll try to leave a, a link in the description below for any kind of purchases, things along those lines. So there you have it. Uh, lucky seven. Um, like I said before, if you weren't feeling lucky, trust me, when you get your hands on this, this bad boy, you'll, you'll be, you'll be counting your, uh, your blessings that you were able to get a hold of a, a bourbon, this, this fantastic. So I want to say thank you so much for tuning into another one of my reviews. Greatly appreciate it. Um, you know, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts, you know, on something like this. You know, if you've had anything from them, always interested to hear, uh, you know, people's feedback. So 
With that being said, again, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my reviews. Uh, if you'd like to follow me, you can on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all of those places at My Bourbon Journey. If you'd like to help support the channel or become part of the Mash and Journey Whiskey Club, check out the Patreon link in the description below. That will give you all the details to what it is we've got going on with the Whiskey Club. So there you have it, guys. Thank you again so much. And remember, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers, and I hope you're as lucky as I am. Cheers, guys.